Neighbors around Brook and 2nd Street in Wichita Falls are hoping to raise awareness after a string of break-ins there. Zach Verdia spoke with those affected. So, Zach, I understand they blame a man who claims to work for the city? That's right, Daryl. Three separate neighbors of 85-year-old Joyce Qualls all say they questioned the same man they suspect of burglarizing her home, each time not receiving a straight answer. Besides, I'm with the city. To pick on a little old lady 85 years old, that ain't right. That's not right at all. So all my jewelry, and uh, they just couldn't be that good. That's not all 85-year-old Joyce Qualls had stolen from her home. They stole that big nice TV. Not just the expensive items either. They stole all my food out of my pantry, and they stole and went through my deep freeze. They stole my husband's billfold, which wasn't nothing in it but his uh, military ID card. After Joyce had the break in about a month ago, the neighbors have been on alert and they have noticed some things. The same man attempting to get into houses, offering roofing services, wearing a blue City of Wichita Falls shirt, claiming to be with the city. But after reaching out to the city, they confirmed nobody by the name given worked with the city and they do not go door to door, adding they would not be on private property without prior authorization or permission from the property owners. Joyce's son, Roy Pierce, says they've had four or five occurrences. So as they wait on word back from the Wichita Falls Police Department, all they can hope is it doesn't happen again, like a close call just this past Friday with the same man. Went to the kitchen to pick the food up, and I heard somebody in the living room heard that door shut, and I thought it was Rodney to come back in here, and it was not. It was that man in here. If he'd have got in here, he could have hurt her. He could have hurt her bad. Matt Larson's grandpa lives in the area, so he does all he can to help keep Joyce and surrounding neighbors safe. He saw the man enter Joyce's screen door before noticing him and fleeing back to his car. While contacting the police, Larson was able to ID the suspect's car and license plate. Now he just wants to raise awareness so people can stay safe while they wait on word from WFPD. You don't know who they are, and you don't know who they're with, and the city should be wanting to investigate who this person is, not just put it in a pile with a report number. All this in hopes to get the word out there to avoid another situation like Joyce's. And as you can tell, after a handful of instances, Roy and Joyce aren't messing around anymore, boarding up her back door completely. And again, no employee from the city will go door to door for any reason at all unless you are already contacted by the city beforehand. I'm glad they're boarding it all up, but I hope they catch this man responsible too. Zach, thank you very much for that report.